Hello everybody! GGC Anime here and today we are gonna be reviewing Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon season three or Dungeon Ide Wo Motemiru no wa Majikataru Daroka Season 3. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to review this one since this is the last season I've actually seen before. So this everything past this is gonna be completely new territory. This is the last rewatch. Everything else past this for season four is gonna be completely new content for me that I've never seen. And so I'm very excited for that. So Without much else to say, let's just hop into this review. So, what is the story for season three of Don Machi? This season follows Belle coming across a monster girl who could talk and speak like humans can, something monsters don't normally do. And after stumbling across this girl, he really wants to help her as she's scared and very sad. Like she's crying, she's very nervous around all these adventures and monsters that keep trying to attack her. So he tries to save her. However, saving monsters is very much looked down upon because it, who would want to save a monster? And that's why even his own party is just like, dude, this is stupid, don't do this. But he still does it because he wants to help this monster girl. And that kind of kicks off the plot for the season where Bell and his crew are now trying to keep this monster girl safe while trying to avoid all these people who are aiming to take out all monsters because they think all monsters are evil. And yeah, that's not the best story summary I could have done, but we're just gonna roll with it. So, in spoiler free thoughts, I'm very mixed about this season. Like, when I was rewatching the opening theme for this season, I was reminded about what I thought was going to happen and what ended up actually happening. Since it, and I thought it was going to be a really, like, really good storyline. It was going to change the entire series forever. It was going to be an intense build up towards a crazy new setup in the story, but that's not what ends up happening. And I'll go about why in the spoiler section, but it was a bit disappointing to say the least. I honestly wish it went in a different direction with how the story went, but I'm not disappointed with what they went with. It's not the best thing ever. Like it definitely could have been a lot better, but for a story that honestly is pretty risky for a series that's all about killing monsters, I thought this was a pretty well thought out story. Even if the ending wasn't to my complete liking, I still enjoyed it a lot and had a great time. So the characters, for the most part, are really good. Although there are some villains I'm not too big of a fan of in this season, whereas the previous villains kind of fit, which there wasn't really a main villain in season one. I know there was definitely a main villain in season two. and. That was very entertaining, but this season kind of just had like different kinds of villains in a way where there's the main villain, Dix, who doesn't really do it for me as a villain. He's, I get he's meant to be some big menacing character, but I never felt him to be that menacing, but he, he still had some moments that definitely made him feel intense, like what he does to the monster girl later on, whose name is Weenie. Um, but overall, he's probably one of, my, one of my least favorite villains in the Don Machi series. He definitely could have been better, could have been more thought out, but it was he wasn't a bad villain. His motivations did make sense for the most part, and while I don't like his motivations since he was mainly just evil, he definitely isn't some over-the-top awesome villain that I can completely understand why he thought this way. But again, he's not, he's not a horrible villain. He's decently thought out, and I don't hate him. The main cast, once again, just absolutely is incredible in this. With Haruhime finally joining the main cast as one of the big main characters, I thought she did a very good job giving a good supporting role to Belle and everyone else, and I really thought she worked well being there. And I'm just going to come out and say I love Wiene as a character. She is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Because even though she's this character that was only brought into this season, she's just one of my absolute favorite characters from how she develops from like this weak person to who she becomes in the end. And it's just, I thought her character was so good. I loved Wiene as a character and I really do find that she was a good fit into the story. But we can't really go into much more else actually without spoiling anything. So we're going to hop into the spoiler section. Here's a time stamp to when the spoiler section will reach its conclusion. If you have seen season three of Don Machi, I'd recommend sticking around to hear my thoughts. But if you haven't, you, if you don't, and you don't want to be spoiled, go ahead and skip to the end. It's perfectly fine. But I would appreciate if you have seen the season to stick around and hear my thoughts. So, yeah, I'm gonna count up from five, and we will enter the spoiler section. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, in terms of spoilers, 
I honestly felt like some of the things in this could have been more well done, such as the eyes versus Bell fight. I've always found the chemistry between eyes and Bell to be rather interesting with how he has his own ideals and she has her own ideals and they don't try to push them onto one another, but they still try to reason with the other's thoughts, thought processes. And honestly, I thought the fight between them was going to be more interesting since at the time, and I think it was in episode 11, Bell was trying to protect Wiene after the monsters along with Wiene who also were intelligent, such as this lizard called Lid, and also this, I believe it was a gargoyle called Gross and a few others. Um, Bell was trying to protect Wiene to help them get back to the dungeon after they escaped out of the dungeon, and honestly, I thought the fight between Bell and Eyes was going to be a lot more interesting, like it was going to have a lot more intensity to it, but it ends way too quickly. I don't really get to see too much of it, it's like maybe a 20 to 30 second fight before Bell is just like, FIRE MOTO! It just shoots out of there, try creating like a smoke screen for him and Wiene, and Honestly, it was a very underwhelming fight for what I thought was going to be an epic fight scene. Although, what happened after that did definitely help a lot in improving it, since right after that, when Bell tries to send Wiene away to help, esca help her escape, he then tries to fight off Eyes by himself, but then Wiene decides to come back, and when Eyes keeps telling her about how much of a monster she is, she decides to rip off her own like fingernails, which were super sharp, and her wings, she's just tearing it all off, so that way she doesn't look like a monster just to prove to eyes that she cares about Bella a lot and it was just it was such a strong scene that even though it was very fast paced and it could have been slower it was still so impactful and I love that scene there's also the scene where Wiene almost dies which even though I knew she would immediately come back to life like a minute after it's still really sad like they still build it up in a very sad way and it kind of reminded me of the death of this character in Sword Art Online Alicization where I wasn't expecting it to actually happen, and when it did, now whenever I rewatch that scene, I actually want to cry. <laughs> it's, it's just such a sad scene, and I both love it and hate it at the same time because due to how sad it is. And that's how I kind of felt when Wiene nearly died in this season, where I actually was ready to cry when she was saying goodbye to Belle. But, you know, immediately after that, she's revived, and it's just kind of cool. It's, it's, she's all fine, she's cool, everything's okay, nothing bad happens, and... That's just how it goes. But going back to what I said earlier, when I mentioned that I was watching the opening and theme and thought this was going to go in a completely different direction, I was pretty disappointed with how things went. I don't hate the story because it's just about Bell and his friends trying to understand this group of monsters that are actually really intelligent and everyone else kind of rejecting the monsters because they're monsters. However, when I saw the opening theme, there's like this shot of Bell fighting against different people in the dungeons, and I thought what the story was going to be about was that Bell was going to side with the monsters and help them survive and kind of abandon his familia for a bit so that way he'd be able to help these monsters get through everything and that would have been a really interesting story to take a, like a complete turn in the, in everything and make it an actually intriguing and interesting story to build off of. However, that's not the route they go with. Instead, they just have Bell help these monsters a little bit mid-season and then after that, the monsters run into their own problems with Dix and his group of people and yeah Bell just kind of helps them there and while again it's not a bad season it definitely feels like there was missed potential to completely change the story around since the way the season ends is that is just that the Minotaur that Bell fought in season one has come back as like a reincarnation thing I guess and honestly their rematch great I love the rematch so much they did a great job with that rematch and the fact that Bell lost just made such a huge impact on me as a person just seeing him cry about how he was so upset that he lost made me think wow Bell really does need to learn to get stronger and improve himself and it just felt so impactful and I love that but after that everything just kind of goes back to the way it started before Bell even helped out Wiene, where sure, there's a few changes, such as the monsters are down there in the dungeon, and Bell now wants to get stronger. However, all it kind of goes to is that everyone kind of accepts Bell again, everything's cool, and it just feels like not much happened in the end, other than they hated Bell for a bit, and that Hermes is honestly a really frustrating character. Like, I remember liking Hermes when I went on the rewatch where I both loved and hated him, but now I just kind of straight up hate him. He's so frustrating, but at the same time, 
can't help but love how he really wants to see Bell as a hero. And that's why you gotta both hate him and love him at the same time, but... Yeah, in terms of impact, not too much changed in this season overall. It didn't really lead to anything, it just... It just kind of happened, and... That's what's really disappointing to me, because I thought this was gonna be the biggest season that changed everything. To make the entire story brand new, fresh, interesting, unique, and just change everything about the Don Machi storyline, but it didn't end up doing that in the end, which was a massive disappointment. But it did give me a good idea of what Eyes is as a character with her hatred of monsters, where she's like, if monsters are going to hurt people, then I'm going to kill them. But then she saw Wiene, a monster, try to protect Belle, a human, and had her whole worldview just like flipped on its head. And honestly, I really appreciated that bit of development with her and how she's trying to learn to change her opinion on everything. And Overall, I liked what happened in the season, but I definitely wish that it could have been better. Again, I wish the Eyes and Bell fight was better. It felt so anticlimactic. It just ended way too quickly. I would have liked it more if there was a bit more of a fight to it, and it just felt a bit underwhelming. But the scene after it with Wiene tearing off her, literally her own claws and her wings just to be able to protect Bell was such an impactful thing. And overall, I just... I really enjoyed it. I can't say that much bad stuff about it, because while there are definitely issues, I still had a good time. Is it the best season of Damachi? No. Upon this rewatch, I've actually been enjoying season two out of the three the most. It's still probably the most enjoyable of the three, but I didn't hate the season. I thought it was still very enjoyable, so yeah. That's all I really have to say, so we're at the conclusion of this video, and one of my final thoughts, it's pretty good. It's not as good as season two, but I did have a very good time watching. And overall, there were moments where the season really picked up and really got interesting. And that's why, even though it's probably one of the weakest seasons, I'll give it a solid seven out of 10. Very solid season. Definitely one of the weakest ones because it had so much potential that they didn't really go through with. But overall, I didn't hate it. I had a good time with it and I don't regret watching it. So yeah. That's all I have to say, and I thank y'all for watching. If you're new to the JGC Anime channel, don't forget to subscribe by also going to Anime Fans to the channel, and I will see you all around. Peace!